Were you concerned, Archbishop, that we shouldn't make some recording of this meeting about these decisions to keep this secret or not? Because if you did, it might be subject to some discovery by us or others who were in litigation with you and, and the Archdiocese? Well, that didn't occur to me at the time. Did it ever occur to you at any time, or were you told that some of these things, conversations, shouldn't be put in writing because they could be discovered by us in litigation and known to the public? I believe that uh, Father McDonough once said that to me, when? but it was outside of that context. I can't recall exactly the date. How long ago? Um, I can't, I can't, uh, I don't have any recollection of that. What were you discussing? I don't recall. Who are you discussing? Um, that I don't recall either. Anybody else give you that a, a guidance? No, sir. Any, anybody, else, anybody else present at the McDonough meeting when he said that to you? Uh, it, it wasn't at that meeting. I didn't want to imply that. Um, I don't recall the circumstances in which he had said that. Yeah, I'm just talking about when McDonough told you that, was anybody else present? I don't believe so, no. Okay. You must have been discussing something very sensitive at that time, but you just don't recall today what it was and who been involved? I don't, sir. I'm sorry. You followed his advice, didn't you? In terms of? Not putting certain things into writing. Yes. How many different times do you think you chose not to put certain things into writing concerning scandalous material such as sexual abuse by minors? It wouldn't have been very many. Well, it, very many. Does that mean more than a dozen or less? My understanding today is that it would, it would have been less. Okay. Tell me the times that you remember having conversations where you made the conscious choice not to put it into the writing because you were concerned, as McDonough had advised you, that it may be subject to discovery and litigation and you didn't want it to be recorded. I can't recall the number of times, I'm sorry. Tell me uh, the contents of any of those conversations and with whom they were had. Again, I, I would just be guessing, I would be speculating. And because it was not recorded on any journal, any diary, or the contents of any of those discussions, there would be no way to test or determine today how many times you actually did have such a conversation, correct? That, uh, that is correct. Do you keep a journal? I do not. Do you have any memory today of having any of those meetings or the contents of any of those meetings where you made the conscious choice not to record it because it could be discovered or discoverable in litigation and it pertained to sexual abuse of minors by, by priests? I do not. Do you have the names of any of the priests in mind that you're thinking today? I do remember uh, discussing ex priest and making the conscious decision that we can't put that in writing because if we do, Anderson and his, t and his team will discover it. It could be public. First, that assumes facts, not in evidence. I don't think he's ever testified to that, Archbishop. If d don't guess or don't just assume that that's what happened just because the question is asked that way. I would be guessing. Okay. So my question to you is, do you have any memory um, of, of any co the contents of any conversation concerning any offender today that falls into that category of no notes or records made? I do not know. Okay. Did you instruct anyone else to not document conversations such as that I for the same reasons at any time? I don't believe I did, no. Okay. So that would be just you and McDonough that that particular practice would apply to, correct? Well, ob objection. That's not what he stated, that it was a practice, as you've implied, counsel. Don't misstate the record. Give me a legal objection. 
The, the not a speaking. The objection is don't, don't put facts into the record that are not accurate. You are doing that. Take it off the time. Give me a legal objection. What's the legal objection? Y you're misstating facts and absolutely trying to change and taint your record for your media. And that's not what is appropriate, counsel, and you know it. That is not a legal objection. Archbishop, the question is, anybody else besides yourself and Father McDonough um, made a party to such a practice? of not recording uh, uh, sensitive meetings such as that. Not to my knowledge. Same objections. Okay.